Aloha. Um, I'm going to go use the flail mower and I was doing some final checks, uh, mainly, mainly with the grease. And there's this one bearing that I referenced in my last video I called about uh, to the company and asked them, um, you know, how much grease should I put in? And the rep told me, like, probably an entire two. And at the time I was like, that doesn't sound right. Well, it wasn't. So I've been pumping grease into here, thinking by what she told me that it, it must have been filling this cavity. Well, no, it's, uh, I had this cover on and I shouldn't have had the cover on. So now I've got grease everywhere. Luckily it's an easy fix, but uh, I wasted like half a tube of grease. All right, well, I salvaged what I could from that great big mess. Um, that sucks. Maybe I'll I use some of it on the pins, uh, but now I can't get my grease gun to work. So this is just it's one of those tractor days where I'm like not getting anything done. It's taking more work just to get ready than it might take to do the actual job. But I guess that's life. So let's go destroy some stuff. so bad it's a little nerve-wracking as I get near the water you know I'm working on not only a steep hill but I'm working with an implement that can only be used in one direction I mean it works in reverse but it's not the best plan I got one more little strip here I gotta get uh, I did smack one good sized rock as I was coming up this hill it's a nice chunk of that made a pretty good noise. Um, yeah, I, I could go a little further, but this is so dense. I've never cleared any of this. Uh, so that's a better winter time project. I have cleared from this side of the tree over in past videos, so I kind of knew what was back there. And uh, yeah, so now I, this has been what I've wanted to get down this whole time. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna drive down here along the pond we're gonna see what happens. That's some tall brush. I knocked over my pile of, my shame pile, <laughs> all of my pieces of projects that have started and ended and I don't wanna look at anymore. That's where I put them. I'll fix that later. All right, let's see how this goes.
after working the Kubota really hard like this, uh, I let it idle at about 2,000 RPMs uh, to help it cool down. I read that that's generally a good idea. Look at me. I am walking along my pond. It's not at all my pond. Other people live around it, but my section of the pond is now walkable. I mean, it was everything you see here. Uh, this is what it was. It was just, I mean, that's taller than me. Um, wow, incredible. Um, I'm fairly certain the person who lived here originally kept this mode. I was looking at some satellite photos from a few years ago. Um, and, you know, they go back all the way to 1940. But, uh, oh, this was pleasant to hit. Oh, that's part of my machine. Huh. <laughs> Better hold on to that. Um, this tree was giving me grief. Um, so this is kind of the edge of my property, and then it gets really wild. But I, I don't see much need to continue on. At least, you know, not now. Everything is so grown up. This is this is a much better activity to do in the fall once the leaves have dropped and I can see more uh, what's on the ground. But where I was going with the story about the people who lived here previously was uh, I'm pretty sure he kept it mowed, so I wasn't too worried about rocks and uh, large debris. But uh, I think that's enough for one night. I got a few passes. I uh, have a little bit better feel for the machine now and uh, man this is just nice I, I can uh, I can walk down here with the fam and uh, just enjoy this nature it's, it's so quiet back here you know when a Kubota tractor with a flail mower isn't running but uh, n none of the other neighbors keep it mowed I think it's a lot more wild over there um, so I don't think anyone else is gonna be hanging out down here Okay, well, uh, that was fun, and uh, yeah, I didn't blow anything up. Tractor's not on fire from here. That is good. Um, this is awesome. I, you know, I don't, I don't even know if I'm gonna continue mowing that. I, I might just leave it. My goal, literally, was just to have a path that I could walk and keep mowed and. Uh, you know, eventually, as I clear these the dead from this woods, I want to pull it down the hill and have little burn piles down here instead of trying to pull stuff up the hill. That just won't ever work. So, if I can keep this path mode, um, oh God, pile of shame. If I can keep the path mode, that'll be a good day. It'll help me clear stuff, and uh, yeah, I think it's an improvement all around. Oh, oh geez. Okay, well, gonna have to get that next time. Um, all right, well, uh, that's all I'm doing for tonight. Gonna get the machine lightly cleaned up because I do want to do some more work with it. Um, but for my, my first big project, pretty good. Thanks for joining me. See you on the next one. Aria, what is that? <laughs> you tell him. Get off my lawn. <laughs> Mama, the daddy, all three kids. <laughs> they just run off. Yeah.
use that tool today. There's a dead tree leaning in here. I'm gonna see if I can drop it from a distance with the uh, pole saw. Um, you know, I didn't even consider the pole saw as a, I guess, as a safety tool. Um, I didn't... <laughs> I think someone's messing with me. I thought, I thought a branch was coming down. You guys heard that too, right? Um, anyway, I didn't want to mess with this leaning tree because uh, I didn't want to get close to it. And it's a, it's a mess in there, so... That actually worked really well. I was able to drop that dead tree and uh, and do it pretty safely. So um, yeah, there's. And I want to be able to get in here because there's this old dead tree here, um, and there's a bunch of crap stuck up in up in there as well. All right. Well, uh, every little bit counts. So I'm just gonna get back to it. Oh, I think that turned out very good. Um, that pole saw is really great. Um, <laughs> I'd never used one before. Um, I, you know, I was expecting to be able to limb up high like I did here, um, but I wasn't expecting how nice it was to be able to reach and get stuff that's either dangerous or one of those things that's kind of, you don't know where to stand because it could fall any direction. I was actually using it to hack away at a bunch of other standing dead wood um, that had me pretty nervous, um, you know, just to get my tractor near. I didn't want to be poking at something and not notice, um, you know, uh, something fall on me. So I'm pretty sure pretty much along this tree line here, I've got most of the hazards cleaned up. Um, but this looks great. I'm really happy with this. Um, it's always just been dark and shadowy back here. And I think this line, right about up to where I cleared, there's a bit of a drop-off. Um, I think that was the original lot line where they probably bulldozed this field years ago to run hay on it or whatever they did. Um, so I'm only going to do one more thing tonight. Well, I'm going to try. I want to try to hack away at this bush. I don't particularly like it. It's just kind of a big, I think it's a Russian olive, um, but it's so big and gnarly 
really makes the yard look small back here and I think it would look really nice from the house just to be able to see this whole uh, tree line here and just see the whole yard uh, with just the garden popping up. Garden's doing great, by the way. The uh, sunflowers look really great. Maybe when it's sunny someday soon I'll get a shot of there. But uh, alright, I'm going to try to use that pole saw to hack away at this thing and uh, let's see what I can do in a relatively short amount of time. Bush explosion! Look at that. Uh, well, it wasn't easy. <laughs> it was uh, highly manual, but it, it was a good time. I never really cared for that bush. Uh, it was just ugly and it had thorns and, uh, eh, you know, change is good. So this is the uh, middle part here. I was using the uh, pole saw. I threw the chain twice. Uh, and then I kind of figured out what the technique is. You just kind of find the big ones holding a lot of pressure, cut them, pull them out, rinse and repeat a few times. So this is all certainly tractor work now. I'll uh, throw the throw the uh, ratchet rake on the bucket and get that cleaned up and shove it in the woods, which is now open for business, so I can actually shove things into the woods and down the hill and make it a problem for another day. Okay, well, that's all for tonight. I've run out of light, my bug spray's wearing off, and I'm exhausted. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you on the next one.